look now at the debt crisis in Europe and what to expect from tomorrow's summit in Brussels. New York University economist Nuri El Rubini sat down with the Bloomberg surveillance team. The European leaders already had 18 summits of the leaders in the last two years. Last summit, the headline newspaper was EU leaders decide to postpone key decisions, decide to postpone key decisions. Now they have a 19 summit. Now they're supposed to come up in one summit with a political union, with a banking union, with a debt uh, uh, mutualization with a fiscal union, with transfer union, with a growth compact, and resolve the problems mm -hmm. that haven't been resolved for years. So chances are the German going to say no to European wide deposit insurance, no to e bonds. Even to deposit insurance? <laughs> well, you know, in deposit insurance, the same thing. You're taking a huge amount of credit risk. You're you you backstopping 20 trillion of deposits mm -hmm. of the periphery of the Eurozone. They are not willing to well, backstop 3 trillion euros of public debt of Italy and Spain. Why would they want to right. backstop the deposits? But we're kicking the can down the road. The Europeans don't want to make the decisions, and there'll be political elections in Germany, in Italy, in other parts of Europe. We have the U.S. presidential election. Until then, we're not going to do anything about our fiscal problem. In China, there's a stall right now because there is a leadership transition once in a decade. An important decision about the growth model has to be done. But the problem is that every part of the world is kicking the can down the road to 2013. But at the end of this road, there is a. Well, you know, at this time, we're reaching a point in which by next year, you could be in a scenario in which you hit a brick wall and then Eurozone yeah. takes the break up. In the U.S., you have a fiscal cliff. In China, the landing could be harder than otherwise. And in the Middle East, we could have a war.